Hi guys, it's Liz here. In today's video, I'm talking about ACEs. I was inspired to create this video after listening to an episode of my favorite podcast, Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard. On an episode of Expert on Experts, Dax interviewed pediatrician and Surgeon General of California, Dr. Nadine Burke Harris. Until this episode, I'd never heard of ACEs. But after listening to this episode, my Sagittarius nature came out and I went into research mode. I'm still studying it, so the video contains my basic understanding of this topic so far. ACEs are stressful and traumatic experiences that happen to us before the age of 18. ACEs is short for Adverse Childhood Experiences. In other words, childhood trauma. ACEs comes from the CDC CASER Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, a groundbreaking public health study that discovered that childhood trauma leads to the adult onset of chronic diseases, depression and other mental illnesses, violence and being a victim of violence, as well as financial and social problems. The 10 ACEs the researchers measured are physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, physical neglect, emotional neglect, a family member who is depressed or diagnosed with other mental illness, addicted to alcohol or another substance, in prison, and finally witnessing a mother being abused and losing a parent to separation, divorce, or other reason. Other ACE surveys have expanded the types of ACEs to include racism, gender discrimination, witnessing a sibling being abused, witnessing violence outside the home, witnessing a father being abused by a mother, being bullied, involvement with the foster care system, involvement with the juvenile justice system, living in a war zone, living in an unsafe neighborhood, losing a family member to deportation, homelessness, surviving and recovering from a severe accident, the ACE study revealed, one, they cause adult onset chronic disease, such as cancer and heart disease, as well as mental illness, violence, and being a victim of violence. Two, the more ACEs you have, the greater the risk for chronic disease, mental illness, violence, and being a victim of violence. People have an ACE score of zero to 10. Each type of trauma counts as one no matter how many times it occurs. People with an ACE score of four are twice as likely to be smokers and seven times more likely to be alcoholic. Having an ACE score of four increases the risk of emphysema or chronic bronchitis by nearly 400% and attempted suicide by 1200%. People with high ACE scores are more likely to be violent, to have more marriages, more broken bones, more drug prescriptions, more depression, and more autoimmune diseases. People with an ACE score of six or higher are at risk of their lifespan being shortened by 20 years. To no one's surprise, these ACEs cause toxic stress. Not all stress is toxic, of course. Positive stress, which is moderate and doesn't last long, can be helpful in situations such as getting through a big exam or during sports challenges. Toxic stress, however, damages children's developing brains. When events or the environment are threatening or harmful, our brains instantly go into fight, flight, or freeze mode. A child's brain and body will produce an overload of stress hormones that harm the function and structure of the brain. Over time, the constant presence of adrenaline and cortisol keep blood pressure high, which weakens the heart and circulatory system. They also keep glucose levels high to provide enough energy for the heart and muscles to act quickly. This can lead to type 2 diabetes. Too much adrenaline and cortisol can also increase cholesterol. Too much cortisol can lead to osteoporosis, arthritis, gastrointestinal disease, depression, anorexia nervosa, Cushing syndrome, hyperthyroidism, and the shrinkage of lymph nodes, leading to the inability to ward off infections. Eventually, the adrenaline glands give out, 
and the body can't produce enough cortisol to keep up with the demand. This may cause the immune system to attack parts of the body, which can lead to lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia. Cortisol is also extremely important in maintaining the body's appropriate inflammation response. Without the mediating effects of cortisol, the inflammatory response runs amok and can cause a host of diseases. Biomedical researchers say that childhood trauma is biologically embedded in our bodies. The research from epigenetics shows that toxic stress can actually change how our genes function, which can lead to long-term changes in all parts of our bodies and brains. What's more, these changes can be transferred from generation to generation. I took the ACE score test and got a score of 7 out of 10. You might think, well, she's forked. But thankfully, science says I'm not entirely doomed. The good news is that the brain is continually changing in response to the environment. If the toxic stress stops and is replaced by practices that build resilience, the brain can slowly undo many of the stress-induced changes. These practices include asking for help, listening to feelings, mindfulness, exercise, good nutrition, adequate sleep, healthy social interactions, and forming a positive attitude. Much like with healing insecure attachment styles, we can also help heal our brain and body from toxic stress with safe, stable, nurturing relationships. So that's all I have for you for today. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next time.